will get the ball first. And the place kicker for the Bulls of South Florida as toe meets leather here in 2019. The college football season begins for the Badgers and the Bulls. And a return out close to the 25, but not quite there as Wisconsin has the ball. First play of scrimmage here in 2019. And why not give it to number 23, Jonathan Taylor, who tried to get to the outside and could not quite do it. Wow, the 30, 40, 50 plus yard rushes that are the specialty for Wisconsin. Taylor gets that one close to first down di distance. And that's an extra tackle, David Mormon. And run the ball straight ahead. Taylor will get the first down. Not a whole lot more. Center, he sets everything up for the rest of them. Right, that has been so much the identity of this program. Taylor gets away from one, but not a second would-be tackler in. Four rushes. So Jack Cohn, the junior, starting the season as a starter. A little misdirection and the speed of A.J. Taylor. And it is loud. Cone pressure throws across the middle and completes it right near midfield. In this game on the move now. That was a nice throw from Jack Cone and a play fake. He'll dump it short to a wide open target. That's the fullback Chanel and John Chanel barrels forward for a first down. That was a positive play. First and ten. Jonathan Taylor in the backfield is going to get the ball again. And Jonathan Taylor out into the open. There he goes. The first touchdown of the year for number 23. 77 yards. A mix of running and throwing, and then your Heisman candidate, Zach Hintz, who's got a huge leg. Bentley Sanders, dangerous return man. The question is, will he get a chance here tonight against Wisconsin? And on the first kickoff that he takes, he will not. It's a touchback and has another new offensive coordinator. The Bulls are excited about the way their new offense looks, but now under the bright lights. The first year, they are looking for a big jump in performance this season. A running play on second and short, and that one goes backwards on third and two. They will hand the ball off. Straight ahead run and just no room whatsoever. We've right got a glimpse of the new offensive coordinator. This is first game as a non-head coach in his coaching career. That one, I think, was dropped. And they just barely get the ball snapped. Hand off, crock right, nowhere to go. Stacked up. A star many years ago at the University of Florida. Pressure coming. Barnett delivers, and the receiver went down. The pass is in. Trent Schneider will kick it. And a booming punt. Almost an immediate fair catch signal. And the fair catch made back at the 11 yard line. 37 yard touchdown run on the Badgers' first possession of the game. And Taylor will get the ball on a first down run here and power his way for another Wisconsin first down. Let's Anything down. to get you ready for the actual yeah, heat? I don't know how smart that is, but you know what? I get it. <laughs> Football players do some strange things sometimes when they get themselves ready. And maybe some fatigue to their advantage. Another straight ahead run, and that should be good enough for the first down. Wisconsin with all the history and pedigree here starting their season on the road. Play fake. And a deep pass down the middle, incomplete. He had in the backfield. Second and ten. And a penalty flag. I think that was early movement for the Badgers. Ball start. Offense, number 60. Five-yard penalty remains second down. What's Jack going to do here as far as the second and long situation? Second and 15. The pressure coming, and he's going to throw it away. Play clock winding down. They get the play snapped, and they hand it off on third and long. So that's interesting. Groshek. Didn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. Various Feel itself out. Don't do anything dumb to put you in a bad situation. You have a lot of football left to play. All right, we'll see if that's returnable. It takes a couple bounces, and that helps Wisconsin big time. Well, it's going to roll all the way down inside the 10. That's where after South Florida forces the punt. Barnett, a couple of fakes. In the pocket is going to throw down the middle, and the pass is knocked away. Even one of those. Was made by the Bulls. That handoff straight ahead running for Jordan Crockwright. It's third and five. Well, you know, the Wisconsin fans are making some. Offense number 78. Five yard penalty remains. Third down. Well, the home team. down. They get the playoff. And Barnett's got time. They'll throw it. He's got a receiver this time. The ball is caught. Remember, this is their first game in a new scheme. Handoff up the middle running for a yard, maybe two. D2. Points a game. A little misdirection there. And almost like a wide receiver screen to Randall St. Felix. Defend that. Gets pressured immediately. 
Full throw on the move, and he whistles one behind his intended target. When Jim Leonard starts to call those type of presents. Schneider had a brilliant punt, his first one of the night. That one, not so brilliant. It's going to come to a rest at the 40-yard line. Jack Cohn, the junior quarterback under center. Back on the field, Jonathan Taylor is as well, and he'll get the ball on first down and carry it. He's even playing on the road. Cohn will throw, short middle for the completion. And a nice little quick move from Kendrick Pryor. Taylor in the backfield for third and a yard. A play fake. Cohn is going to throw down the field incomplete. He had Cephas wide open again. On fourth and about a foot. And why not give it to Jonathan Taylor? I mean, that's all they need. That is a no-brainer. The result of the play was a first down. After the play, a sportsmanlike conduct, offense number 78. This is 78's first foul for an unsportsmanlike conduct. Receiver Jack Dunn comes in motion. Another play fake and another throw low. This time in the first it. quarter, Wisconsin and South Florida, 7 nothing Badgers. Cone throws across the middle. That's a nice delivery. And that's Kendrick Pryor for a first down already in this game. He's made some good throws, too. Taylor up the middle. Nice hole and a good gain on first down. In the backfield, almost like a pistol formation. They hand it off to him, and he bounces off one tackler, but not a second and a third. In this game, leading 7-0. Pressure comes. Cohn is going down. And Greg Reeves okay. is a terrific story. A former walk-on who was going to go to Air Force and play football. This punt lands and takes a USF bounce outside the 20. Have not helped him much. On first down, he's going to hand the ball off. Upended right near the line of scrimmage. That's the safety. Barnett pressured, and the ball is up in the air and picked off. The Wisconsin defense is going to score Matt Henningsen. He now terrorizes quarterbacks. He put the pressure on, got the ball loose, and Matt Henningsen did the rest. A 14-0 lead, and Zach Hintz, who's got such a strong leg, booms another one into the end zone, maybe, and no. Taking a knee for the touchback. He's a dual Let's threat. Averaged 167 yards on the ground in a day and age where three sports stars are a dying breed. Not Zach Bond. He was a state championship basketball player, a track and field. A five-yard penalty and another flag. Did they move? False start. Offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty. Remains first down. Uh, the psyche for the Bulls might be a little bit injured right now as Barnett on the move will throw high, very high, incomplete. Guard playing left tackle, and he's having a tough first half. Barnett steps up, throws down the middle. It is incomplete. Pretty good coverage here. Barnett has some time. He's going to swing it out right to the tailback front right. Who gets stopped. The proper protection and receivers just have to start catching the football. That punt could be returnable for Jack Dunn. Well, he tried to return it, didn't have much room in the end. He's tracked fast. He takes the ball over the left side and gets to midfield. Second and four, a play fake, and a receiver wide open. Cone delivers the ball. That's Kendrick Pryor has been active in the first half. He's holding the three. Can they come up with a big play on defense? Cone will throw nearly to the other team. Some kind of big play. Taylor's going to get the ball in the passing game, and there's the speed. Cutting it upfield, out into the open. Taylor, touchdown. Essentially a first-year place kicker. Won the job in camp. His kick is up and good. So he's three for three on a point after a ten. A long way to go in this game. This is a new system, new offensive coordinator. Some new talent for the Bulls. That kickoff, a rare returnable kickoff, maybe by design. But South Florida's got some explosion in the return game. Not this time. The ball comes out. It's on the field. At the end of that play, the ball squirted out. And a scramble for it. A USF very lucky to get the ball back. Set it up with a very big hit. And now the Bulls offense desperate to get things going. Into traffic, but a nice delivery. Complete to Randall St. Felix. An eligible receiver, downfield. Number 89 was covered up and went downfield on a forward pass. Five drop penalty, first down. Huge drops on offense, and now four big penalties. Set up that little slant screen. 
for a short game. Let's go into studio. Nice pass from Jordan Love, who's one of the best quarterbacks in the country. More pressure for Wisconsin, but a good completion from Barnett to Bryce Miller to keep the ball for a little while. A fake to Miller, and Barnett throws. That one is caught. He had two receivers kind of in line, and the tight end, the first one, got his hands on the ball. Position the game, the farthest they had, have advanced up the field off so far. And they almost went backwards on first down. Zach Vaughn is... Barnett throws again. And that one tipped up and intercepted on the deflection. Another turnover. Wisconsin comes up with the ball. Eric Burrell. That's a defense. Jonathan Taylor back in the game on first and ten. He'll get the ball. Right side running. I mean, look, he has two long touchdown plays in his, all of last year in 13 games. They've got three in the first half of this game. That's a nice delivery. But the ball's on the turf. And scooped up by South Florida. I think whistled out of bounds. Surgery on that left thumb just a matter of a couple weeks ago. Barnett pressured immediately, and Barnett is going to go down. Sacked. And the South Florida offense is struggling. Second and 18. Barnett on the move. Throws high again into coverage again. It's third and 18. It's going to take one here. Barnett throws. That is caught. And now they run after the catch, just not enough there. Randall St. Felix is good at it. So the punt coming. And over the head of the return man, bouncing into the end zone. Good start for the Badgers, up 21-0. Defense playing particularly well, I think. Jonathan Taylor gets the carry on first down. This guy's a threat catching the ball out of the backfield. Good night. All right, Cart, thanks. Ferguson hangs on to this one, the completion. Taylor not on the field for this third down play. Groshek in the backfield. He's going to get the catch with a blocker out in front. Up field for the first down and more outside the 40. First year starters. Logan's played a lot of football, though. Taylor up the middle, breaks a tackle. Again, South Florida. Second and four. Taylor still on the field. A play fake to him. And a completion to Kendrick Pryor, who's been the top target so far for Wisconsin and he's tough to bring down the play was blown dead the ball ended a four minute style offense for Wisconsin here under two minutes to go now in the first half they give the ball to Jack Dunn and you're seeing that here they're trying some things here to see what they can get going they are taking a lot of time I don't even know if this is four minute offense Ferguson takes a big hit that. they're up 21 nothing I'm not sure Paul Christ is worrying too much about a field goal the handoff and that's a first down that's Garrett Groshek with a nice carry. Practice and a little time management for a quarterback who doesn't have a ton of experience. He faked it to Taylor, kept it, and takes a hit. And now was trading Joey and Jesse <laughs> at halftime. 20 seconds on the clock, second down. Wisconsin Cohn throws across the middle. Cephas with a nice catch inside the 10. Down to about the seven yard line. The clock stops momentarily. Wisconsin might get to the, it uh, looks like Paul Chris wants to kill the clock here on first down. So you can't waste time with this. This is good practice for these situations. They roll the clock. I mean, this is, that's wasted time. That, that took four seconds. Yeah. That should not take four seconds to Snapping get to the line and kill the clock. Offense number 61. This foul happened under a minute with the live clock. However, Wisconsin's chosen to take a timeout to stop the 10 second subtraction. Well, if you get the 10 seconds on the clock, Cone from the pocket throws short and the pass. Taylor stretches. He got there. Touchdown. What an effort from Jonathan Taylor. First half, possibly 28. It is 28 to nothing. What a great effort from Jonathan Taylor. Really impressed me. Because that's do or die. You have to get there. They'll squib the kick. And that likely will end this first half. It's kind of gone like that for the Bulls. Nothing going right. Wisconsin, you got to give them a lot of credit for the way the first half unfolded. Wisconsin what? on third down is allowing the Badgers to just run it down South Florida's throat and keeping that defense on the field. All right, so that's the word from the head coach of South Florida. 28-0, right? The score looks so lopsided. There were two enormous drops by South Florida early in the first quarter. The first two times they had the ball. Third and two. That pressure picked up. That throw with a lot of contact, but the pass incomplete. If you want to have any shot. So that could not be a more discouraging way to start the second half. There is a penalty flag thrown. 
It was only fourth and two, just in case that's against the defense. That could be an impactful penalty, not a real. Illegal formation. Kicking team have more than five in the backfield. Five yard penalty will be added to the end of the kick. First down. Now, a lot of the yardage came on run after the catch, but that's okay. Jonathan Taylor bounces it outside with blockers in front. Jonathan Taylor immediately into South Florida territory. Touchdowns in this game already, and now up to 97 yards rushing. Cone throws, and on target there to A.J. Taylor. And second and one with Taylor in the backfield. Wisconsin's looking to put this game away. What a move. Taylor, there's the speed. Jonathan Taylor, off he goes. Another touchdown. And he found his way into a crease. And the theme of the game, what you've been saying over and over about this guy. advantages of opportunities against a football team that you know wants to play a certain way. They're going to hog the ball. They're going to run out the clock. They're not going to give you many shots at it. So you have to take advantage of yours. Yeah. Been here three meets for that Wisconsin relay team. He's a guy who ran, what, a 10-4 in high school as a track star. Blake Barnett's going to keep it. On first down, the Bulls just looking for something positive on offense. Looks at Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's the famed astrophysicist, as one. He of is going to impress a lot of people as he gets ready for the next level. He's got a lot of work to do at this level still. Barnett That's pressured immediately, and third and ten for the Bulls. Barnett steps up and whistles one almost to the wrong team. Scott Nelson, and he's got to be thrilled. Punt almost blocked and a line drive returnable punt. Jack Dunn with a penalty flag back near the original line of scrimmage. Illegal shift. Kicking team. That five yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. Surprised that South Florida has played as poorly as they did. Yeah, me too. I mean, even that special did the special teams have been awful. That was a jailbreak for the pass rush. Make a big impact. And it, it may still. It's just the first game. But it's not a very encouraging start for South Florida. On third down and nine. Cone steps up. And Cone, who has a little bit of maneuverability. Not great breakaway speed. Crowd into it. What's left of the crowd here. Get the sidelines up onto the sideline and really get them fired up. That could be a smart aleck and say, don't commit a penalty on special teams. That, that would be would like be a, a, that'd be a plus to a baby step. That, uh, the look of that stake when he carved it up for you, that would make me maybe want to get one. Is <laughs> yeah. it, it false start off at number 64. Five yard penalty remains second down. Am I wrong to think that that, that Wisconsin is not just necessarily a lock to win that side of the division? That teams like Nebraska are there, Minnesota. Wisconsin is showing you right now tonight. Hey, look, not so fast as they respond. Paul Chris couldn't ask for anything better. On third down and very short, they got stuffed. Let's see, let's see if they can come up with some plays. Let's see what they do on fourth and one. They hand the ball off, and that's not going to work. The ball's out. He wasn't going to get there anyway. The ball anymore. Jonathan Taylor in this game with a 35 nothing advantage. So they'll hand the ball off to Watson, who gets eight yards on first down. Back to studio. Talented man. players in the country. On second down, no gain on the handoff. Third and two. And that one is stopped well behind the line of scrimmage. USF defense. Good snap, good hold. Kick is pushed. No good. And they are here in big numbers tonight. Watching their Badgers take it to South Florida. A very impressive overall performance. A pitch and catch from you guys Barnett. are. So let's continue to work it and see what you can get done. That one was to nobody. Blake Barnett, I mean, this is his sixth offensive coordinator since yep. he left high school. Sixth. And you can just tell as the game continues. And his third in two years at South Florida. He steps up in the pocket on third down. He's got some mobility, but he can't get away enough for the first down. The ones who have left, but I heard some boos. And they're going to fake the punt and try to get there. That did not end well. He's a very fast guy. Charlie Strong said he might be one of the five fastest players on our team, which opened our eyes a little bit and ears. That one dropped. Ferguson had his hands on. That's interesting. 
delayed handoff there on second and ten. And, you know, the question to me is, but right now it's up to Jack Cohen, like in this third down situation, to see what he can do. He's getting a chance here, and he's made some nice throws, including that one to Danny Davis for a first down. But I think it is still a valid question for this team, as good as they have looked overall. They got a chance to be a great team this year. Watson breaks one for a touchdown. That's a touchdown run for Watson. Kick is up and good. 2019, it is 42-0 Wisconsin over South Florida. And I think in a lot of ways, this performance more impressive than that one. We don't yet know exactly how good the Bulls are going to be. But there has not been a phase where Wisconsin hasn't been the razor there. You want to see where exactly he is at as far as his development is, con is concerned. The NFL Ball has starter. a lot, a lot Ball of interest set. in him. Number they want to see how he can really take the reins of this First football down. team and see what, what he can do. The SEC and see if Oregon's got it. I mean, there are a lot of people who think Oregon has a chance to be one of those. I, I expect Jalen Hurts to play really well. That ball just flung away. Are they going to call that a pass? Yeah. And South Florida. You hope it doesn't alter the program in a different direction. Right. Pass dumped short on third and long. You start throwing plays out. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. And players notice that too. Then they start trying to press, and everything just starts steamrolling downhill. Wasn't a very good punt. It was pretty good coverage. So they didn't fake it this time. They actually punted it. Wisconsin will get the ball back toward midfield. A lot of work to do for those two guys. All the optimism of yesterday leading into the opener. I, I mean, I, I bought it. Yeah, uh, look, and, and in fairness to Blake Barnett in particular, since he's the one who's going to get the most scrutiny and the offense is going to get the most scrutiny, because that's where I think a lot of the expectations were. Remember, six offensive systems yep. for a kid who is still in college. Look, there are, pro there are professional players who will never survive that. So you know a kid who's in his, who's 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, older than that. I mean, in his early 20s, there's no way you can survive that kind of thing mentally and developmentally. So he's just behind the eight ball. They're going to have to be patient about it. Although you just wonder how patient the fans down here are going to be. Good play fake, but nobody was open. So Cohn throws the ball away. Three levels. Yeah. They have an offense that plays great complementary football with one of the best, if not the best player in the country right now. Look, I, I have that. For that quarterback, he's got to be a little patient. I don't know. Cone wasn't ready for the snap, so he avoided the turnover. No question about it. Line drive punt. And the return across the 25 and across the 30. Balls off. Like being here in Florida, but it's close. Pressure immediately. Right around the edge and right by. It has been anything but beautiful on the field for the Bulls. Wow. Just a total annihilation by Wisconsin. 42 nothing. And in some ways, I just thought maybe the, the character of his football team would help them respond a little bit better. But they can't, they can't seem to pull themselves out of it. And they're going against a very good football team that's very well coached and has some really good players. That have Bay. <laughs> no Grantsburg. Grantsburg makes Green Bay look like Manhattan. So you've been there, huh? It is a tiny little town in northern Wisconsin. Oh Jack Dunn off and running. And Jack Dunn into South Florida territory with a big punt return. Wow. Feel free to keep doing the play-by-play -play of that game, Matt. And has been reinstated and is back on the football team. And he has made an impact in this game. Look out. Look out for Wisconsin. Third and two, and the fullback, John Chanel. The running game, and if you have pass catching ability, that makes you all the more valuable. Left side run on first down. And Bradrick Shaw, who is back staying there. true to who you are, throwing the football, running the football, taking shots when necessary, getting your quarterback sacked sometimes. I mean, it's just all a part of it. <laughs> but Jonathan Taylor made him look really good tonight. It has not been a perfect game. They're, they're talented. The left tackle's really talented. But it has not been against what they're trying to sell to him. But it's been a tough night. There's no question about it. And, and maybe you're right. The point I brought up that point really to say that the offensive line has given up 10 tackles for loss for Matic. Wisconsin. National title game 2011. So that's a while ago. Blake Barnett being chased from behind. He'll throw on a move. And that was a nice pass. And a catch for a first down. A disaster for South Florida's offense. But just keep calling it. Just keep throwing the football. See what you got. 
One thing is the pressure has been so immediate. Is that pass intercepted? It was taken away by Wisconsin. Well, that team will see. A handoff to Watson. Chase Wolf is not Graham Mertz, the true freshman. It's the redshirt freshman, Chase Wolf, who's in. Maybe mostly just a handoff. And Nakia Watson making the most of his opportunities. In training camp that just completed for Wisconsin, so he's earned his play time here late in this football game. Yeah, this would tell me hey, yeah, even for the block on. Absolutely. How about that? To spring at Bradrick Shaw for a touchdown. Stick your nose in there as a backup quarterback. Extra point is good. Down to score, and he thought beat the powerful Miami Hurricanes. But Bernie Kozar and about 25 other NFL guys on that Miami <laughs> team had different ideas. And with just a few seconds left, Kozar threw the touchdown pass. That ended up uh, winning that game. 7-21 still to go. So the backup gets a chance to get in the game, get some experience. Wisconsin's defense has been Technique breakdown. He expected there to be a big jump this year because of them putting in the work this offseason and just naturally growing. Even against a struggling offense. I think that's a big time positive for the Badgers. Jordan McLeod's completed a couple passes. Wisconsin, as far as developing guys and doing it the old fashioned way, getting them reps, playing good, wow. solid football, running the football, playing in the tough division, in the elements. This is a lot of. You're right. McLeod yeah. goes down. Yeah. The helmet came flying off, so that penalty flag gets thrown. Again, run. personal foul. Grass from the inside of the helmet. Defense number 42. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Number 12 does get to stay in the game because the foul came off due to a foul. At all. November 2017, that's the last shutout for the Wisconsin defense against Minnesota. They beat safe because they... Wow, to waited too long. And he just got crunched. His he needs a different helmet or a way to secure that helmet a little better. 17-7. All right, thanks, Matt. In these live game reps as the way to develop the bottom part of their roster, the number twos, the number threes. And it's going to pay off for them down the road. Uh, penalty flag. Thought they got the play snapped in time. Ball start. Offense number 38. Five yard penalty remains. Third down. Mm. Wow. Well, I guess just trying to get some experience for your kicker. That feels like that was inevitable. That's Kobe Weiss. So, I mean, we'll take that. But they can't give up on this season. I mean, that, that's just not the way team sports work. That's not the way competitors work. They still have their own conference schedule to play. So, I mean, there, there's some things that. That's to look forward to and really see where you're at as far as the level of competition that you're playing on a regular basis. title on the line. First and ten, Wisconsin just playing out the last few moments of this game, so you got it was a little different. Yeah. Well, we'll have to keep it all in context. I mean, when they start their conference schedule, we'll find out a lot more. But the man of the night, Jonathan Taylor, Wisconsin, 49.